This lesson might seem like it's unrelated to solving equations a little, but this is really the foundation of um, our future algebra lessons, and it's going to help us a lot when we go to graph lines, which is what we spend a lot of time in eighth grade doing. So they're called literal equations, and they're literal equations when they have more than one variable involved. There's obviously a more mathematical definition than that, but um, the other equations that we had only had one, one variable. Um, when you have more than one variable, then you're really talking about a literal equation. So here's how you rewrite them, because you can't solve a literal equation, right? We use the phrase rewrite because we're not going to solve for x. We're not going to get x equals 5 or x equals negative 10.2. We're going to just get some other variable phrase. So the way that we rewrite them first is we circle the variable... you want to isolate. Now as you get more advanced, you don't have to do the circling, but in the beginning, when we're first learning, I like to circle. And then after that, what you do is you use proper inverses. And what I mean by that is PEMDAS backwards, to solve. Well, I can't really use the phrase solve to get the variable alone. Okay, so here's what we do. You still drop the line, but in the question they're telling you, you see how there's two variables here? They're telling you, and they always have to, tell you which variable they want you to get by itself. So I'm going to circle the y, just the y, and that's what I want to get by itself. So I'm going to do PEMDAS backwards, and I'm going to look at what I have to remove. So first I have to look for addition or subtraction. So I have plus 5x, so the way that you do that is you minus 5x. And so they cancel out, and you bring down the 2y. And you can't combine 6 minus 5x. One has a variable and one does not. So the best that you can do is write 6 minus 5x. All right, that y is still not alone. So I have to inverse, divide by 2. And everybody divides by 2. And although it looks like it's unbalanced because there's two twos over here and one two over here it's unbalanced if you don't do it to everybody so these cancel and you have y equals six divided by two is three and five divided by two is 2.5 x you could also if you want to leave it as five over two x either one of those is fine but for now we'll stick with the decimal but if you understand and you're happy with this, then I would certainly encourage you to do it this way instead of this way. And that's as far as you can go because you don't know what x is. You don't know what y is. There's too many variables for you to solve it. Another type of literal equation is a formula. And you know this because I told you that anytime you have more than one variable, you have a thing called the literal equation. And all formulas that we know of have more than one variable. So... In letter A, we have to solve for B. You see, they're telling us which letter they want alone. So I'm going to circle the B, drop my line, and there's only really one thing that's irritating the B. If you think about PEMDAS, there's no addition or subtraction, so I'm going to just look for multiplication and division, and I'll divide both sides by H. So B is the only thing over there, and A over H is what you have, and that's the best you can do. I know it looks unfinished, but because we don't have enough numbers in our question, we can't really solve. All right, so letter B is really for those of you that are looking for a more advanced concept. Um, if you are like, okay, I get this, you know, challenge me a little, then this is um, the one for you. So if you're totally stumped by letter B, don't stress about it. 
Um, it's just for those people who want something a little more advanced. So I'm going to drop a line, and they're telling me they want the L by itself. So I'll circle the L, and first I'm going to look for addition and subtraction. So I see that here, but it's re since this is the variable phrase, I'm going to remove this first. So I'm going to remove it with minus pi r squared. Sorry, I know that's hard to read. Hold on, I'll fix it. Okay. And so I have s minus pi r squared equals pi r l. So I still have to get the l by itself. So let's divide by pi and r all at the same time. So the official answer to this, those of you that are looking for a challenge, is L equals s over pi r minus pi r squared over pi r. Now, this is totally fine. You can leave it. But for those of you that even want a more, more advanced idea, and this is even too easy for you, we can actually reduce this right here. So we get s over pi r minus um, the pi's would cancel and one of the r's would cancel. So you just have um, r equals l. All right, if you understand this, then you are definitely top notch. If you understand this, that's fantastic. If letter B totally stumped you, that's also fine as well. All right, here's another formula that you might be familiar with from science, the Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion formula, or technically this is Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, so we're going to take the formula from our Fahrenheit to Celsius and do the reverse of it. So first thing I'm going to do is ask you to pause the video and distribute this um, five ninths. Okay, now, if you wrote 17.77777, then you're doing the wrong thing because we don't use repeating decimals in upper-level math. We use improper fractions. So I rewrote that. I said, well, I can't use 17.77777, so let me figure out what the fraction version is. So drop a line, and they want the F by itself. They always have to tell you what they want. So I'm going to do reverse PEMDAS, and I'm going to remove the subtraction. So I'm going to plus 160 over 9, and I get C plus 160 over 9 equals 5 ninths F. All right, we got one more inverse to do, and that's to get rid of the 5 ninths. And what did you learn in the previous lesson? about inversing a fraction. Hopefully you said multiply by the reciprocal. Now, what did I tell you in the previous question about um, multiplying or dividing? Everybody has to multiply or divide by 9 fifths. So you get 9 fifths C plus um, that gives you, I'll just give you the final answer. I know obviously that can be reduced. Is 32. Whoops. See, if you did 17.777, you'd probably get 31.999 or something crazy like that. So the F is by itself. This is what they wanted. And I'm done. A formula for converting from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius is this that they give us earlier in the question. Use this formula to determine which has a greater temperature. So I've got this value in Fahrenheit and this value in Celsius. I'm going to set you up and then you're going to solve it. So here's the setup. You write your formula because you always write a formula if there is one in the question. And well, it doesn't matter who you plug in. Um, you're just going to pick one of them. So I'm going to turn the, the sun into Celsius. So let's plug in 
the 11,000. And because it's Fahrenheit, it goes in for F. So C equals 5 ninths times uh, 11,000 minus 32. Can you pause the video and solve that, please? You should have 6093.3 repeating, and I know I told you to never use a repeating decimal, but I'm not using it as my answer. Um, I'm just using it to estimate, and you can see that this is 6,000, and this is 30,000. So clearly, lightning is significantly greater in temperature. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me in class.